All right, so this is my editor component. And the editor component is very simple. It's just a form. Here it is with the title and the content. All right. So here I type the content is a simple text area and I will render a preview of the markdown renderer. Okay. And the content is in the state. Now, the way that I'm going to use this is two ways. One way when people want to add something, second one when people want to edit something okay so the important part is that when i ex when i render this component before it mounts is going to create a state and if i give him the title then that will be the title if i don't the title will be empty this means that when somebody is adding a note i'm not going to give this editor component a title so it's empty but when somebody edits a note, I am going to give the title of the previous note. Something, other thing to notice, uh, this is just an input change, whatever. Another thing to notice is on save. The on save is when I want to save, I am going to give this component a function that is going to, it's going gonna, it's gonna to save whatever. Okay. So again, this is a component called editor and what is going to happen is that the route add is going to give him a different on save function and the route edit is going to give him a different on save function all right that's it that's basically that component so here what i'm going to do on the add is that i am going to import it like this editor okay and let's see Let's go add, and that's it. This is the editor. It's uh, input, as you can see here, title. It's an input, and there is a button that saves, and there is a content input, and the markdown renderer that you are familiar with it now, okay? This is it. So that's it, okay? I hope that you are getting it so far. All right, now, the difference is the save function, like I told you. So this component, in this case, this doesn't require any props, only requires the say on save function. Because when somebody clicks here, I will have an error saying that on save is not a function. This is because my add component hasn't given him any, um, it hasn't given him any function yet. So to create a function first, I need to create a mutation. So I'm gonna do import GraphQL from GraphQL tag. And let's create a mutation here. Let's call this at node equals GraphQL. And this one will be mutation. And for this mutation, the name will be at node and we need title, a variable called title. And this is a string. We also need a variable called content that is also a string and this returns an id let's just say that because we don't need to actually return anything uh no sorry and now this is this is not yet there sorry 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 in client state the name is create note create note let's just make the same name all right and i want to say that title is title and that content is content and again i need to return an id but it's not important import mutation from react apollo and here we go mutation mutation all right and this gives me a function with the mutation function there. Let's call this create node function. All right. But this is not what I need directly. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new um, function called on save here. And this one will take title and content and that's it so here in create note actually what i'm going to do 
is instead of using it immediately i am going to say this dot create node equals create node and you will ask me why are you doing that return editor my reason is that first i need to check that the person has has a title and a content okay so i'm gonna give these people this on save this dot on save okay and now here let's console log title and content because again i don't want to fire the mutation immediately okay i actually want to what is it oh i actually want to wait for a bit to check what they what they are like the the text and whatever so here we'll say blah 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 blah, blah and if i click save I will see them both because of this okay because my editor component this one already has this all right for me okay so my editor component is going to call the on save prop that i'm giving him with the title and the content and the on save prop that i have requires a title and a content so we're good to go all right okay good shit. next up we need to check if title is not empty and content is not empty either then it means that they have something ergo we can do this create node and the variables that this needs is title and content okay let's see if it works let's make this small and here we go uh, title Nuver course and the context um, first section all right I will click save missing field create note and again like a fucking retard client my god Nuber offline <laughs> save all right, it looks like it works. No problems yet. So if we go back here, if we go back to 3000, ah, okay, so you know what I wanna do? I need to redirect. So I'm gonna get the history from the props. Let me console lock these props. When I click add console. Okay, the props are history push. Okay, I just need to get history from props. This that push. Okay, so here I'm gonna say uh idiot props history and I need push okay and here i'm gonna say push to the index so i'm gonna say blah 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 blah, blah and i save and I, if i go to the index yay it is here awesome let's add one more no click and it's here so it's working perfect all right so that was when we want to add something now remember what i did here is i am taking the mutation out because i actually want to check something before i can actually create a mutation if i just execute this with any data it might not work okay because maybe title is not i want to check that title is fulfilled and content is fulfilled and also i want to say push like this okay we are almost there we're gonna do edit and then we are gonna go to the offline part to finish the course, okay? See you on the next one, bye-bye.